believe me, you're always there. Your hope is so amazing, nothing can compare. You're in the deepest waters on the mountain peaks. You're with me every day, and you never go away. Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me And your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever need You are the king of all things, old and new you're always there beside me when I call on you Your spirit lives inside me, it brings me joy There's no need to be frightened Cause you're always in control Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me and your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever need No love is wilder, no love is stronger No love is like your love for me No love is wilder, no love is stronger No love is like your love for me and no love is wilder, no love is stronger, no love is like your love for me. Singing, no love is wilder, no love is stronger, no love is like the love you have. Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea. Your love is kind and it looks after me. And your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me And your love is gentle It's all I'll ever Your love is gentle It's all I'll ever Your love is gentle It's all I'll ever Hi everyone, welcome to St Melitus Family Worship Online. It's really great that you've joined us today. I don't know about you, but I'm getting very excited about Christmas now. Are you singing lots of songs at school? And our family have gone round Hamwell on the Advent Christmas window trail and we've seen lots of beautiful windows. So if you haven't done that already, go and ask your parents, have a little walk around when it gets dark and look at all the pretty lights. It's looking really, really lovely. So it's over to our lovely little pal Wallace for Wallace's countdown for how many sleeps till Christmas. Over to Wallace. Time for Wallace's countdown. Wallace's countdown. Wallace? sleeps do you think it is till Christmas? Do you want to tell me? How many? Oh, it is 19 sleeps until Christmas. That is so exciting and that means it is our second week uh, in Advent and we are going to light a candle now. Guys Wallace can't wait till Christmas and neither can I. And today it is our second week of Advent so we are going to be lighting two candles while we pray. As we light this candle, we pray that people will find the light of Jesus this Christmas. Light in the darkness, light to the lonely, light to the sad, light to the sick, light to the worried, light to the lost. Amen. Not a king of armor, 
boys and girls. How are you? Well, I'm sure you know, but my name's Ruffy. I think we should see if my friend Colin's about, yeah? Colin! Colin! Hi everyone! Oh, hi, hi Colin. Hi Colin, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, well, you look quite funny. Why have you got baubles on your head? Oh, because I was decorating my Christmas tree and I got a bit carried away. Uh, I can see that. Do you really like Christmas? Oh, I love Christmas. Wow, I really like Christmas. Do you know why? Why? What do well, you like? Well, I like it because it's all about Jesus <gasps> and he is like a superhero. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what? What, what, what? There's even a song about it. Wow, sing a bit, Ruffy. Yeah? yeah. Well, Say so it goes, hmm, hmm, hmm. Jesus, you're my superhero. You're my star, my best friend. <gasps> 
That's such good singing. Doesn't he good good singing, everyone? I know. Wow. I think we could watch the next part of our Christmas story now to find out more about how Jesus is our superhero. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's, let's watch. Yes. The story of Christmas. Jesus is born. This is Mary. Hi. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus. But before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, uh. Hi, Joseph. Ooh, got it. Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Hey, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about that? Um, okay. So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Oh. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth. Eh, uh, that'll work. And laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. This is Joseph. Hello. <laughs> this is Mary. Hello. <laughs> Featuring the cow. Moo. This is Jesus. <laughs> Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay, but there was no room for them anywhere. Please, I need a room for my wife, she's pregnant. <gasps> there was no room at the inn. Haven't you got anywhere for them to sleep? The innkeeper took them round the back to where the animals slept. The innkeeper showed them where the animals lived. So they stayed in a barn with the animals. And Mary gave birth to Jesus. They wrapped him up and lay him in a manger. So the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. So we've just seen from Saddleback Kids and from the Plum family and the Severus, thank you for your amazing acting skills of the Christmas story. So today, I'm excited that I get to do the tour today because today is like that pinnacle bit for me. Jesus was born. Jesus came to earth and he's now been born in our story. Where was he born? That's right, he wasn't born in a hotel, he was just born in a stable, it might have been like a cave. He was born with all the animals in all the mess. Jesus has been born. God sent Jesus into the world. Now, have you ever seen a superhero movie? How many of you like superheroes? I love superheroes. In our house, we love Miraculous. Do you watch that on Netflix, any of you? With Ladybug and Cat Noir, and they go to save the day. We've got a lot of those episodes going on. Or my son loves Marvel. Maybe you like Spider-Man, or maybe you like Batman. If you like superheroes, there's always tends to be, what does the superhero do? The superhero goes, swoops in, and saves the day. Why does the superhero have to save the day? He has to save the day because there tends to be a bad guy who's either made a mistake or done a wrong choice, done something bad, and then the superhero comes in and saves the day. 
So in our story today, that's how I want us to see baby Jesus. Jesus is like our superhero. And there's a word we use called Jesus is our savior, which means he's come to save us like a superhero. So when the superhero comes to save, like I just said, there's the mistake someone's made or they've done the bad things. It's the same for us. Things we've done in the past and things we haven't even done yet. All of us make mistakes sometimes, don't we? All of us do the wrong thing sometimes. Sometimes things do bad things. Jesus came as a baby. He was born to be the savior of the whole world. God sent his son down to be the savior for every single person, you and me, everyone you know. So even when we've done the wrong thing and we've made mistakes, by Jesus coming to be our savior, it means we can live forever knowing him. We can have a relationship with Jesus because he came to earth as a tiny baby. So maybe this week, and as you get ready for Christmas, if sometimes when we do the wrong thing, maybe we're a bit mean to our brother or sister, or maybe, you know, whatever, maybe you stole the chocolate out of the calendar that you shouldn't have, just remember Jesus is our savior. We can say sorry to him and he forgives us and we can know him forever and ever and ever. But God could have sent a big Batman or a Spider-Man person. But I actually think it's even more amazing that God sent a teeny tiny baby to grow and be on the earth, which means Jesus knows everything we went through. If he just zoomed down as a big Spider-Man out of the sky, then we wouldn't be able to relate to him of thinking he knows what we're going through. I know that Jesus grew up as a baby. He cried, he fell over, he hurt his knee, he went to school, he like worked, he did all those things. And that means we can trust him with our lives and trust that he knows how we feel. So this week, whenever you want to, talk to God, say, God, thank you that you're my saviour. I want to trust in you. And I know Tamlin last week was talking about our trust in God. And that's what we continue to do. And as we get ready for Christmas, let's remember that he is our saviour. I'm going to pray. Jesus, thank you that you are the saviour of the whole world, that you came as a tiny baby to save us all, that because you came, we can know you forever, that you love every single one of us and we can know you as our saviour. Please be with us, we pray. Amen. So next week, guys, the 13th of December, 10.45 a.m. service, we will be having some groups in person. Unfortunately, we can't for anyone under the age of five at the moment, but if you do have a child under the age of five, um, please put your, their age when you sign up to come to the service and they will get their own box and play match that they can have during the service. But if you have a child in uh, age five to 11 category, then they can come to group. We'd be love to see them. Everyone's socially distanced and safe, but you do need to sign up online like all our other services. Sign up, make sure you put the age of your child and we can then have everyone safe and have fun together.